Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra. Continuing my Hoi 4 vanilla campaign as the Soviet Union at war with the Little Entente, which is uh, Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, and Lithuania. Um, oh, and Romania. So it's like five nations. Ooh, it's even Switzerland. No, it's more. Jesus, Belgium and Netherlands. This is a big faction. Um... But it's fine. Once Poland dies, let's see, who has the most troops in this? Uh, let's see, they have about 240 to 500 troops. Czechoslovakia has about 50. France has the majority. Then comes Poland. So, if we can wipe out Poland, I think a huge chunk of this faction just ups and dies. And we can probably get Czechoslovakia as well. So yeah, Poland and Czechoslovakia we can wipe out. But France is the great nation here. So we're not going to win this war until France dies. And Spain got beaten to death. So... Hmm. Well, unless Germany can do something. Um, yeah, let's just unpause and see what we can get done today. Hey, thank you for that. Getting scouts is always good. Um, right, we're getting a resistance occupation. Resistance strength, base value 35, compliance, local police power. Um, like... <laughs> We're using local police power, which is negative 20% here. Daily compliance gain is going down, though. So, we need the compliance to go up, right? We need them to comply with us. Yeah. So, how does that work? Um, daily compliance gain is negative in these. So if we go back to civilian oversight, they're going to be more resistant to us? Um, that's the thing, though. I'm not expecting to have to hold these countries for that long. So if we be aggressive about this... If I go secret police... The local police is 20. This goes from 20 to 35. Let's go secret police, see if that's good enough. You guys are not <clears throat> breaking through here, are you? You still can't learn anything else. Uh, are you learning anything? Trickster. Is that recon? Yeah. Oh, oh stop. Pause, pause, pause. What is this? So, Qing China declares war on Japan. Italy is... Oh, they made their own faction. With Bulgaria. Okay, so the Italy made their own faction. Uh, we did socialist science, which gets us a lot of recruitable population. But I'm going to get my research slot now. Thank you. Hungary joined as well. So Hungary and Bulgaria. If they get Yugoslavia as well, they'll have a nice, decently powerful um, thing there. Uh, let's do... No, no, no. Build... Wait, let's, let's build this in Poland, shall we? And we'll do here. Uh, these guys are not nationals. Uh, they don't, they're all German nationals, so I don't know if they're going to be... They're not going to be as effective at spying. But it's probably fine. We are slowly but surely breaking through here, but... Um... Ooh... Entrenchment speed? No, no, no. We get infantry expert. And we'll get guerrilla fighter, yeah. So they can entrench quickly if they have to. Okay. 
You can all get stuff. Infantry expert, yes. Oh yeah, you had the shitty one. Yeah, you got nothing good. Infantry expert. But wait, aren't you... Oh yeah, you are not pushing right now. Right, I'm, I'm not pushing with you. Currently. Um... If I try to justify against you... It's not gonna take that long. Let's just do both of these. Let's just add them to the war. They're probably just gonna join the, uh, the little entente. But I'm gonna wipe them out and get these other dudes in the fight. So, these borders are not moving at all, which is fine. All the fighting is happening down here. Mm. Except for... These mountaineers. Okay, let, these guys are green. Let's tell them to push. It's fine. You guys push as well. I don't really care about this. What is this? I don't care about this. Enemy cipher is decrypted. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm fabricating things there. So we have the code for France. Impressive. How do I get more? Let's do Hungary. Sorry, Romania here. Let's just keep up the pressure. We're not being uh, reckless. We're not being aggressive in our attacks here. They're just being balanced. So casualties will be high-ish. Um, I'm going to push you guys out. So uh, we'll do seven go here and you guys are where you're this okay you're gonna go join this guy here so I'm not training any dudes right now but we are severely lacking some armored cars and some light tanks it seems yeah my tank divisions are uh, getting creamed here both of you guys stop large front offensive I have a lot of army experience for this. Let's do this. Also, I'm going to tweak you. Can I get reliability up to... Yeah, so I can do 5 and th 2. No, no, I can do... Yeah, armor reliability. So reliability goes up to 100%, and the armor goes up by a lot. The speed does not matter at all. So, we'll do this. I can't convert from stockpile, but it's fine. Um, we're upgrading guns. We're building this. I can drop you a bit. What is this? Science or treachery? Over the past few weeks, our liaisons, representatives, and loyal Stalinists, ministers, and officers in Spain have repeatedly been withheld important information and denied access to Spanish government and military officials. Sp Spain is dead. Word has now reached us that our men are being systematically removed from positions of influence and that even our foreign aid programs are being stonewalled. Coincidences, coincidences of this frequency cannot be pure chance. The Spanish government is displaying clear signs of treachery and a desire to rene renege. Renege? It's like going back on their word, right? I don't know how to pronounce that. On its obligation to the Soviet Union. And voices in Moscow beginning to call for punitive actions and a tightening of the reins. Yeah, we will send a message by establishing an occupation zone in Catalonia. Do I get Catalonia then? <laughs> oh, you guys are dead. You guys are so fucked. What kind of division is this? Spanish Loyalist Division. Oh yeah, you're fucked. You guys are so fucked. Uh, yeah, take this guy. Try to hold, I suppose? Oh, there were dudes already in our borders. Excavation 3 is done. Can I? I can't tweak this, can I? No, it's locked. 
So I don't really care if they live or die, but this should help us a bit, maybe? France is wiping out Portugal. And I think France is going to wipe those dudes out as well, but it's fine. This should at least keep them busy. If I just focus on defending, let these guys get entrenched. Building sabotaged. So we just t occupied a part of Spain, which is weird. This should not have worked, but it did. Okay, let's uh, let's abandon this position here. This is weird. You should not be here. You should be here. Yeah, I don't really care about that either. Okay. So we lost one or two positions, but it's fine. Just hold your ground. Actually, wait. What if I do this? Let's take uh, eight of you. We'll do a fallback line. Let's hold like this. And we'll do... Can you guys do this? You can fall back. Oppress Estonia. Estonia cannot expect to withstand the might of the Red Army. If we send them a demand for basing rights and control of their border security, we can effectively annex them without fighting. Yes, send the ultimatum. Um, so, you are running away. So are you. So are you. You should be running away. I want you all to set up defenses if you can here. Recon company is good. I don't care about the military police right now. Let's back away from the noise here. Um, let's get you. We have three military factories. I'm just going to put them... I want all the, the armored cars set up as fast as I can. So if I'm only holding three spots, that should be easier for you guys to hold. I imagine. But they're probably still going to cream you. I imagine. That's fine, though. You're missing support equipment. It doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Let's tell you guys to stop attacking. Estonia refuses our offer. Annex war goal against Estonia. Declare war. Call allies. Tell you to go. Estonia joined the Little Entente. So I'm no longer fabricating against them, I guess. And we are getting... Yeah, okay, so you guys joined as well. Got our extra research slot. Uh, I don't know. We're not going to do that. That doesn't really matter. I can move the industry. No, we're not going to do that either. Claims on Bessarabia. That doesn't do anything. Remove National Spirit. Trotsky plot purged. Stability. Damage to garrison. Ooh. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Don't care about that. Do not care about that. So, how is thing? Armored cars? No, that's in the red. Fighters. Yeah, we're losing tanks and support equipment. Hmm. So, motorized. I'm going to stop this production a bit here. Uh, we got one to spare here. Just put that in the support equipment. What is happening in the world right now? I'm fighting Australia? Jesus. Okay, so Poland is almost dead. You can see that. Germany has al almost crushed Warsaw. So when Poland dies, a lot of troops are going to get removed. I have a research slot. I forgot about that. I could upgrade the motorized... I could upgrade this. But I'm only using these for recon, so I don't think I need to upgrade it. I don't think that does anything for me. I think. Yeah, nah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta go nukes. I mean, we're, come on, we're playing as Russia. We're gonna nuke some shit. So, you are red, but it, it's... Oh, you can actually attack Finland? They joined the Commonwealth of Nations. Okay. None of you are unaggressive. You guys can attack. You're good. 
Let's have you guys attack as well. I'm kind of worried about the tanks because we're not, they're not fully stocked. But like Poland is almost dead. I want to grab a little bit more land, get some more participation there. So there's low supplies. Oh Jesus, Bulgaria is in the war and they just fucked us. Big time. Jesus, how did I not notice that? Okay. So wait. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, we're gonna have to take this one back. And you need to stop attacking right now. Plan is to shrink the border to here. And you guys... are essentially moving to this border. You guys are fine. Uh, can you guys get out? Yeah, you've not been blocked. Oh, Romanian... Okay, Kingdom of Romania has capitulated. Good, 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 good. This happened just in time. So we're fighting Italy as well? We started this war against the Polish. Why are they... Yeah. Okay, fine. Stop attacking. And change your borders. This is really, really ugly. Uh, we're gonna shrink this to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want any of my dudes to get pocketed, so we'll, we'll try to fix this as soon as I can. Um, yeah, so we're fighting Italy now. Italy is fighting Germany, okay. Germany is not... we're not fighting Germany. Okay, that's, that's a plus. And Italy can't get their troops past Yugoslavia. So Bulgaria is alone here. So is Hungary. Yeah, Hungary and Bulgaria are fucked. Completely. Estonia has capitulated. Good, good, good. So, let's see here. These guys should all be on this. Push. And go. Okay, I'm gonna delete this no division thing here. Okay. Let's actually expand this like so. Yeah. <laughs> We're already at war with them. I don't understand why that doesn't like auto stop, but it's, it's fine. You guys need to get out, so just retreating. We are retreating. Okay, you guys are retreating. So far, nobody's been pocketed yet. That's a good thing. You guys get out. Get out, get out, get out. So, let's see, you guys are 24 wide. I'm gonna let the borders, like, sync up, because uh, this is weird. The borders got completely fucked, so... Uh, we're good up here, and if we actually hit the Germans, we're gonna be... fine. I imagine. Now, these are only tanks, but they can probably wipe out Bulgaria. I don't know, maybe? What if I move my Mountaineers to help you? Yeah, Mountaineers and tanks. Go ahead and set up for this. Okay, uh, how big is this border you have? You're 24, it's kind of big. You guys are kind of small though, so... Let's extend this like this. Is it you guys? Yeah. No, 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 no. Make it just big as fuck. Draft dodging. A new report by the War Office shows a marked reduction in available manpower. It appears that the latest batch of recruits is much smaller than initially expected. The, di the discrepancy is currently under investigation, but first leads point towards a large number of people who are technically fit for service, managing to avoid the draft through various means. 18-year-old students... Oh, Jesus are suddenly skilled workers employed in critical war industry. Former athletes fail their fitness tests and in some cases recruits have simply vanished without a trace. When people are caught and interrogated, they point towards the poor conditions in the army, the indifferent officers and not wanting to die for a lost cause. We're winning this war! Military leaders demand a harsh crackdown on people avoiding the draft, but many in the government believe that improving the living conditions of enlisted soldiers might be the better approach. 
Yeah, I mean, political power, we don't give a fuck about that. I mean, just because we're Russia doesn't mean we have to be assholes, right? Okay. And push when you want to. Um, I might put some of these dudes on aggressive just to clean everything up. Prague is, like, still alive here, like a cancer in the middle of Germany here. If we can wipe out Bulgaria... Hungary should fall pretty quickly. I don't think they have... They could have, I don't know, a few numbers here. There goes Poland. Beautiful. So, we're gonna take you guys and put you on aggressive. You're just gonna wipe out every pocket of thing everywhere. Uh, you guys are gonna go on aggressive as well. And the purples are gonna go aggressive as well. So let's clean up the upper part of this, and then we focus all of our efforts on Hungary and Bulgaria. After that, we can't really do much except for Finland here. Which, I don't know, are they going to be able to hold against us? I don't think they are. You guys are doing fine. Infantry expert, always good. Are you going to have something? Oh, yes, you are. Latvia, that's good. So, that's beautiful. Everything is now dead here. Lithuania has capitulated. So this is the only pocket left here in the north. So you guys don't even have orders right now. I'm going to switch it back to normal, I suppose. So wipe out this pocket. Come on, they're completely surrounded. You guys don't have any orders. I'm going to do this and then take you off aggressive. I have to do this, okay? You guys, just, just go here and push. Wipe them out. Okay! I mean, we're not going to go to war with Germany. We don't really have to. Could. Take you off aggressive. And let's actually put you, like, here. We'll have you push for Budapest if you can. So, you guys are fighting, you guys are fighting, you're fighting Finland. You guys are not moving. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to push. Italy declares war on Yugoslavia. So... If they manage to wipe out Yugoslavia, then we can actually attack Italy. Let's see, how strong is Yugoslavia? That's France. I was like, Jesus, they have a lot of troops. I might have like 30. I'm not putting a lot of faith in that. Uh, Spain is justifying against us. Spain does not exist. You guys are still holding on? Well, I'll do another pay raise. I'll keep, I'll keep making conditions better for you guys. Just, just fight along my, along the side here. Of good. You guys are just taking too much here. We'll do like this. We'll expand it like this, and then we go. So, uh, we, yeah, don't care, don't care. Uh, Czechoslovakia is almost dead. Smirch is done. We'll do partisan suppression, which should help us with our partisan problem. And yeah, things are pretty Gucci right now. I am very, very happy. So Germany can focus on the Western Front now. Yeah, uh, Romania. We have if we have your cipher, but Romania is uh dead. So whoops. Let's do Italy. Uh, we could train dudes. We have 4 million manpower. I could actually get 5 generals all with 24 40 wide divisions. Or I could make them smaller. I could make it... I could make every general have 12 divisions. I could do that. And then all of them would be 40 wide. Just go. So Finland will die eventually. 
Uh, Hungary is going to lose Budapest and then they're going to die. I'm getting more factories here. Let's go for tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a nice mop-up. Nice and, and clean. Prague is finally falling. There's no way they can hold on here. No, that's Germany. Czechoslovakia, no, they're dead. They're dead. So we're also eliminating enemies for the Germans, so they can focus their troops on other things. Thank you. It is 1940. We'll do this. Probably should have done that beforehand. Prague is not falling. Did that say Carlsberg? No, Carlsbad. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Czechoslovakia has capitulated. I'm spending a lot of my political power on this. Okay, Czechoslovakia is gone. Hungary is gonna lose. Uh, this is Budapest, yes. I imagine that's gonna kick the Hungary out of this war. Hungary goes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Spanish independence war. Uh, let's see here. Carlos Spain was liberated. Equatorian Guinea was liberated. Basque country, Romania was puppeted. What? Ah, they broke free. And look at this. Look at f poor France. Just just gotten fucked. Badly. Like. Romania has capitulated. There we go. So all of these troops that are stuck here are all gonna die. But look at this. I got, like, got control of, con of like, pieces of territory of Spain that was already under France control. And I'm still holding it. And then Spain revolts against me, even though Spain doesn't exist and France loses control of it. Jesus, how unlucky can you get? So, we are mopping up the remnants of uh, any anybody that was helping out over here, that it was not from these countries. Yeah, yeah, building sabotaged. We don't care. Clean everything up. Where is he running to? Improved infantry equipment. Thank you. Hmm. Ground support, I suppose. Okay. We have nothing to attack right now. Can we declare on Yugoslavia? No, we don't have the political power to do anything like that. There's only Finland left. Okay. I did set you guys to aggressive. You should be fine, though. How did we do? 650 armored cars missing. Some tanks, a few planes. We're good. We're good. I cannot believe you guys are holding out here. You're surrounded. Completely surrounded. But look at that. Look at the combat strength the France have. Are they out of troops? Can I see the manpower? Uh, yeah, I can see the manpower. So that's in the civilian. They, they have a million manpower. They're fine. And they have extensive conscription. Ooh, look at this. The social measures passed by the government as part of a larger process of reforming the military recruitment policy have proven surprisingly popular. Higher pay and more frequent leave are often cited as the biggest new benefits, but many also point to the new government programs to support war widows and orphans. Fewer and fewer men ju can justify refusing their country's call to the colors. That is a very cool phrase. And public support for draft dodgers has all but disappeared. Indeed, there has been a recent upswing in public support for the government as more and more people realize that the Soviet way of life is under attack. Uh, let's see here. Extensive draft dodging. This is refactor. It removes it completely. Nice! Okay, so no more draft dodging. So I finally have that crucial manpower that I was lacking, which is fucking ridiculous. I have four million dudes. I mean, it's not China level, but still. 
Hello, India. Human wave offensive. I think I got more from that? Yeah, I got even more from that. Jesus. So, just for shits and giggles, if I wanted to make this into a 40 wide division... Actually, it would be 44, because... It's locked? No, it's not locked. It's up to 32. Yes, I will save that. Partisan suppression. Division recovery rate, reinforce rate. We get a land doctrine and some army experience. Reinforce rate. We don't like the NKVD. They were the ones that rebelled against us. Let's rehabilitate the, the army then instead. So, I made all of you 40 wide, but I kind of want to change some things here. Um, I'm going to make a new theater here. I'm going to take you, I'm going to split you in half. Move you here. No, I was going to move them. Yeah. So. Let's make another army, because these are all going to be 40 wide. Oh, that's strong. There we go. Oh, fuck. These guys were still fighting. Yeah. Eight? No, no, no. They should, all of them should be on this. Alright, sorry, sorry. Okay, we'll do this with you, and then you go here. Okay. I'm gonna wait until Finland is dead. But effectively, these guys got 40 wide now, so... I cannot do certain things with... Uh, if you have a general with 24 divisions... And all of those divisions are 40 wide. You cannot do, like, force attack. Because it, it becomes too expensive. Like, you double this, it would cost us, like, 74 times 2, which is uh, 148. And you can't even get that much command power. There are some nations that can get a lot of command power. But, for the most part, you can't. So, we're lacking a lot of guns right now. Which is fine... The armored cars are good. Let's drop that to like this, and we go like this. Uh, what else are we lacking? Tanks? Okay, we'll do tanks. We'll do one more here, and then we're good. Planes, this is good. This should get stockpiled up quite a bit, actually. Huh. Well, we got enough of that, so we'll do this. We'll do this. There goes Finland. There are still some troops here that were not from Finland. But okay, so we take you, split you in half, do this, and we do this. Okay, I'm going to have to give them generals. I'm going to have to give them a field marshal as well. And we'll fix that stuff later. So I'm gonna do this like on Germany here. And I'm gonna do you on like Yugoslavia. There's probably not gonna be enough infrastructure to manage that. Let's see here. I'm actually playing as uh, Russia. I should have. I should have a lot of options here. But there's so many of them are tank dudes. You've got Cav. I'll take you. We've got infantry stuff. Uh, tanks, infantry here. Uh, we'll take you. And you. Okay. You can actually get an infantry expert level. Jesus! Guerrilla fighter as well. What boat? Oh, I'm sending convoys of supplies to these dudes. Fuck, and they're all getting sunk. Yugoslavia is kicking the shit out of Italy? Ah, uh, that is, uh, that is impressive, Yugoslavia. We're actually over our time here. Ah, oh, but I want to finish this. But no, it's not going to get finished. Um, France is not going to fall anytime soon. Um, 
We have fought what we were going to fight. I mean, I could declare war on Germany if I wanted to be a dick about it. I mean, they don't have that many divisions, and we just got 40 white dudes, but they don't have their guns yet. And it's going to take us two years to get the guns we need for this. Switzerland is dead. That's a good. That's good. Just go ahead and pause it here. We've done some good things, but I think uh, I think I might stockpile up some... Um, we get everybody guns, and then we go to war with Germany, I think. And then we just sort of sweep across the continent. Uh, I don't know what to do about Britain, but I'm not at war with them, so never mind. Oh, but if I declare war on Germany... Yeah, these guys allied each other, which is fucking weird. Uh, anyway. I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.